begin with, one of the major things we use is Murphy's Oil Soap. And we mix Murphy's Oil Soap with 50% uh, water, 50% Murphy's Oil. And when we uh, have a piece of wood to begin with, we spray this on. It um, softens the top layer of fibers of the wood so it's easier for your tools to scrape them off. All right. This is the piece of wood that I've chosen to show this demonstration. It's pretty basic. Um, doesn't look like much right now, but it has, I can tell by looking at it that there's straight grains through here, but if, if you can look here, there's going to be some swirling of grain, which will be beautiful when it's finished. So I wanted to kind of give a different uh, perspective with straight grains and swirling grains. And we finish both pieces of wood. And this side of the wood is a little more challenging. It's got some debris in here. It's got lots of little holes and crevices. And so I think it's going to be a, a useful tool uh, to teach some lessons. Okay, so to begin, it's going to be, uh, I think we're going to use the brushes to take off the sand. You can see the grit and the sand right here. You can take just your uh, paintbrush and just start, look right here, just start getting some of this debris out of here because it will help keep your tools sharper. And it's pretty easy to do. You just, just uh, brush away, get all that grit and sand off, especially in crevices like this. Um, if we take the, uh, is my head in the way? <laughs> you got a big head, Sue. Uh, okay. the, this probe right here, if you can see the dirt that's coming out of here, out of this, this one little crevice. Um, so we're just going to take our brushes and our probe and get as much of the just loose debris off that we can. So that looks pretty good to begin with. I'm going to just dig right here. See, this is the type of thing that we need to, to get off of your sculpture. Anything that's loose like this um, needs to come out. We're trying to get down to hard wood, and uh, that is where your beautiful grain will be. So everything that's loose is going to be scraped or brought it out of here, and we'll see what we're left with. Okay, I think most of the loose debris is off of here. There's a little bit here. See how valuable this tool is because it can get inside all these little corners and nooks and crannies. Alright, so now we're going to take our Murphy's oil. We're going to work just one side right now. And, and I have a tendency to just spray the area I'm going to first be working on. And I'm going to do this straight edge right here. And your Murphy's oil and um, water. We're going to spray the piece of wood. You can see the color change already. See how the wood is, uh, the grain is lifting because you put water on it. Um, and it's softening, which means that we will be able to scrape much easier. Sharp edge of the blade. I usually scrape with it down onto a hard surface and you try to scrape with the grain. And what you do is just draw it towards yourself like this. And what you end up with are these little curls of, um, of wood. And by the way, you can, um, when you're all done scraping, you can put these out in your, in your garden. It's good for your flower bed. Now, when you're scraping your wood, if you start getting this washboardy sound, sometimes that means that you're really not scraping in the right direction. With you can always turn your piece around and scrape this way, and you can see how much more smooth that is. So you just have to do a little bit of experimenting. And this is the very basic 
beginning of scraping a piece of wood that's going to turn into a beautiful sculpture. Uh, so you would scrape actually the whole thing and uh, over time you're going to get down to the real hardwood and the way you will know you're down to that hardwood and sometimes you have to use a little bit of elbow grease here to get down there but the scraping sound is going to change a bit and it's going to get a little bit more of a squeaking noise and over time once we get down here if you hear listen carefully you can hear the difference it will get into a squeak that there we go right there I can tell I can see right here is where the hardwood is and it has a different squealing noise so that's what you do to begin with you take keep spraying your wood softens the top fibers scrape with your scrapers and get down to that hard wood that we're going to be working with with sandpaper Happy scraping!